What is up guys, it is Tony here and today we are doing a review of this tripod that I just got in the mail today. This is the Alta Pro 263 AGH. It is a really nice tripod uh, for people like me who want as close to pro equipment as they can get without breaking the bank. It is a very heavy stern tripod, but it's at the same time not too heavy. It is made of aluminum and I believe some plastic and a magnesium um, carbonate. And overall, the build quality, I've owned a couple other tripods before this and both of them disappointed me in the price range of about $80 a piece. And this one very much impressed me for the very nice price of $180 on Amazon. Uh, you can find the link below. Because this thing has the build quality, in my opinion, of some of the lower end pro tripods at the price of an amateur tripod. So, does it only have good build quality or does it also have features? Well, it does. you'll find that it does have a lot of features. So we're going to go ahead in this video and show you some of the features. I'd also like to mention that the grip I have on it is the GH100 ball grip, uh, which you can, of course, once again, get with the $180 package on Amazon, which I'll link below. I'll do some uh, reviewing of this as well in this video. So first off, I'd like to mention that this extends to about 65 inches, I believe. I might be a little bit off on that, but I believe it's about 65 inches um, with legs that have two release points. There's an upgraded version of this that has three release points, and it probably goes up to about 72 inches or 6 feet. Um, this one, in my opinion, does all you really need, because if you unlock this part here, you could bring it up. And now, with only one of these uh, latches on the legs released, it's at my head height, and I'm about a six foot man. So uh, for most people, I think it's plenty enough. I mean, you can even go further if you want, and you can have it above your head. So it is pretty good, in my opinion, in terms of heights, because it gets past six foot. Anything over six foot is really all you need for someone who's doing video. If you want to get over the crowd, uh, you may want to you know, spring out for the 72 inch ones, uh, but this is really all I personally need. Um, so you can see that this has the stock that comes up, uh, brings your head up, and it's really good for having, um, you know, more support and just more height in general. I usually like to have this extended and not extend the legs further, because once you get too far with the legs, you know, length, you start to lose some of the um, support and the balance of the tripod. Also, this is really good. Um, because it has a really cool feature to it, which I'm going to show you right now, where you can release this latch and you can push the pin on this bar and with a little bit of finessing, you can take out this stock. Now when you take out this stock, you then, once this clip is removed, you can bring it up and you can put this stock in sideways. Now, this is a really cool feature because it opens up a lot of cool things you can do with it. Uh, for one, you can get down and you can get, you can look down with your camera. Your camera would sit up here. I'll show you that in a second. And it can allow you to do macro shots, which are uh, a big uh, popular type of photography that a lot of people are doing nowadays. And this can really help you take your macro shots to the next level. So, that is a really cool feature. Another cool feature this has is the ability to press each tripod leg and extend it out a little bit further than most tripods. So now you can see the tripod is on the floor. Now this allows you to get of course a little bit more support on those windy days and it also, as I was mentioning earlier, is meant for the ability to do some great macro shots because now if you loosen this you can move around and you can really get in there close on your subject. Uh, so if you're doing macro of flowers or something on the floor, like bugs, this is really nice. You can also use it for something I kind of thought of myself, which I'm sure isn't a feature they list, but it is a feature I'll definitely use. The feature I'm talking about is using this tripod as a steady cam. If you have the tripod out like this, you can put one of the legs on your arm hold one with your other arm, and then hold the grip with your right hand, and now it'll stay much more steady when you're doing video pans. 
This is a really good solution for people who don't have the money to shell out on a steady cam. Another feature of the tripod itself is that it has these really cool feet. On the bottom you'll find three rubberized pads which allow you to put this tripod onto tile, onto wood, onto concrete, whatever, without it moving at all. Most tripods tend to have plastic on the bottom and that plastic slides a lot. The rubber is very grippy and in my opinion is much better than most of the other cheap tripods you'll find out there. In addition to the, gri the grip on the bottom, being relatively good, if you screw the grip, which I'll probably cut to a video shot of me doing that up close, uh, when you screw in the grip, it allows you to pull out these kind of like pointy, almost like uh, the cleats in a shoe, um, in, in a sports shoe, like a football cleat, um, which basically allow you to get into dirt, sand, gravel, and even carpets. Because carpets sometimes don't grip with the rubber as well as you'd like them to. So that's a very cool feature and I think that uh, it'll be used by me a lot and a lot of other photographers and videographers. Now we're going to get into the feature of the grip. The grip is a pistol grip which is a very cool type of grip for a tripod. If you guys have never heard of them before they basically allow you to lock it in place to where you know you can't move it but instead of having to unscrew anything to allow you to adjust the grip you simply hold the pistol grip tight, just like you would with a gun, and then you move it around. And it is very easy to move around. It is also on a ball, which allows, you know, for more, you know, versatile movement, where you can pretty much move every which way. And it's just all around a very nice grip. Another cool feature of the grip, which I'm probably going to zoom in to, um, or go into a cutaway, is the tripod mount or should I say camera mount. The camera mount is made of heavy duty aluminum. This is not going to break on you. My last tripod had plastic and the one after that had plastic as well. This is much better. Uh, so when you snap it on, it just snaps on very easily just like any other tripod uh, mounts, they all do. And once it's on, it is very sturdy. This is one camera mount that I would trust out of all of them. And trust me, I really had bad experiences with camera mounts. So uh, as far as the more amateur um, tripods, this is amazing. Also, when you try to release it, I'll probably do a close-up of this once again, you have to do a safety uh, push on the orange clip, and then you pull the gray clip, and then it comes out. So instead of there just being one clip, then you can accidentally nudge and then lose your, your you know, thousands of dollars in equipment, there are multiple clips to make it a little bit more safe. It also has the ability to pull back this gray part here and then turn the pistol grip maybe diagonal. Maybe diagonal works better for your hand or for your preference. In fact, I believe there are eight positions in total that you can choose from. And that's actually a really cool feature that you don't see in many pistol grips nowadays. Also has this really cool pan feature. You simply flip the switch, there we go, and it allows you to slowly pan around. Now when you do this, it actually clicks. You can hear it if you listen very closely, probably not in this video, um, but it clicks to where you can choose very precisely where you want to position your camera. It also is really good for just doing smooth pans across the beach or whatever, um, which are sometimes difficult to get with a lot of these more plasticky, cheap tripods. So I think that's about everything I need to cover for this tripod. Um, overall, I would say it's a very good value for a tripod. I mean, $180 to get very nice aluminum, high quality, sturdy legs with great features like those uh, tips at the end that allow you to dig into dirt and the ability, of course, to go fully flat on the floor, which is usually found in more expensive tripods. You also get this amazing grip, this pistol grip, which in my opinion is one of the coolest grips on the market right now, and it is uh, a very nice little accessory to have in your bag that you might even bring with you um, to your future tripod purchases, even like those more expensive carbon fiber tripods if you ever get into that mood. Um, it's also just a very nice value considering it comes with a very cool bag that actually is um, a lot nicer than most tripod bags you find. The material is much thicker, 
um, and the these uh, there's no zipper, which I don't I don't like zippers personally. I'm not sure about you guys. It uses the um, I don't know what you call this. It's like you just pull and it tightens. And I like that better personally. It's all preference, I guess. Um, it has lots of great features, like this feature right here, where you can um, take out the middle stock and uh, do some macro shots, which I could see myself using a lot. Um, it's one of those tripods that really should be put into the pro section, but because of its pricing, it's hard to call it a pro tripod. But I would say it's up there with some of the pro tripods that are a little bit better priced. Um, I'd also like to mention, you know, I've mentioned how many features this thing has. Take a look at this. There's a sticker on the side that says 2009 Awards TIPA Best Accessory. I mean, with all the features it has on here, why not call it the best accessory? And I know that's a little bit old, and I mean, maybe some of you guys are like, oh, old tripod equals worse. But trust me, I know people who are professional photographers who have been using one tripod for 30 years. So trust me, this is going to be a great buy. I think you guys um, who are amateurs out there, just like me, and who are starting out slow, um, can find yourself using this tripod for the next 10, 20 years. Um, that may be a little bit ambitious, but I think that it definitely will hold up uh, to the test of time. So, that is pretty much it. That is my review of the Alta Pro by Vanguard. It is the 263 AGH, as I mentioned earlier. And there is a very nice deal on Amazon for uh, Amazon Prime members where it's only $180 if you want to get this grip as well. So that is pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more reviews like this in the future for photography equipment, or if you want to see any other types of videos, check out my channel, subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time.